guys, this is the second video, uh -huh. as promised, and we'll be trying to do this. We'll, we'll be trying to do this consistently. So today's question is by Sadia Ali. Okay. She gave us five questions, and we'll be answering them all comprehensively. Sorry. So the first question is: Is it true that Darwin University is not accepting students with only A levels results? Like, do they need interboard results? No. A levels results ke saath aa sakte hain, bilkul aa sakte hain. Humne khud A levels ke equivalency banwani padti hai, lekin equivalency ka pura procedure. If you're an A level student, you need an equivalency. And then uh, you need an equivalency, or if you're an inter student, you don't need an equivalency. No, Other certificates are required. Ah, uh, like your result certificates. One time, you have to go to the inter board office. So yeah, that's it. So everyone gets accepted. And there's also the myth, also this myth that uh, A levels they accept or then they get a reduction uh, or whatever. That's, that's just a rumor. Like, that's not true. Yeah. So second question is, can A levels and inter be done together? Oh, no. No, the Pretty thing is, life. the question is, why do you want to destroy your life? Like, are you that bored of your life that you find fun in studying? Like, that, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but then, no, like, don't burden yourself. Yeah, you enjoy it. So, basically, university me aake jana, kuch nahi rehta karne ko, padhai me ho jaate ho. So, inter kar rahe ho, to inter ke saath stick rahe ho. A levels kar rahe ho, to A levels ke saath stick rahe ho. Do one thing. Don't do two things. Aha, bas ye ek aur cheez ye hai ki. If you do O levels, you can switch to A levels. You can do A levels, or you can do inter. But if you do metric, you can only do inter. Like that's something to keep in mind before you get to. Ah, and suppose if you feel that you can't manage A levels, mein kar pa rahe, then you can switch to inter. One year will be wasted, but you can switch to inter. But in O levels, there is flexibility. In ah. metric, there is not much. लेकिन अगर एलेवेंस कर रहे हो तो आप से एक स्टिक बजा रहे हो। अच्छा। बेस्ट कॉलेजेस फॉर एलेवेंस इन इंटर। एलेवेंस में तो आई थिंक आप टीचर्स को देखके कॉलेज का अपना डिसाइड करो बेहतर है। एंड वी दे रहे फ्रॉम पीएफ चैप्टर। एलेवेंस। या। एंड कॉलेज का नाम इतना मैटर नहीं करता अगर आपको it's just your grades that matter. Yeah, it's a, at the end of the day, it's not about the institute, it's about your grades and how like how determined you are. Otherwise, institute name doesn't matter. See, like in, see, in order to name a few for A levels, you have Nixa 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 Percentage is the same, college ka naam does not matter at all. But can you have students yeah. majority over here from uh, Aakhan? Aakhan has a lot of students are there. Area. Uh, area has a lot So, this is private institutions. For government, you have to make a metric result of uh, uh, which uh, college you go to. Okay. Fourth question is What are Dow University's requirements for admission? Like, how good the results should be? Uh, this is like, this is more than you, this is, it's not just like a one word answer. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna have to explain Coffee it to you. Coffee, but I spawn so yeah. yeah. Like, I think another video yeah. is required for this. They can briefly, just to explain it. So, uh, A-level enters, they take 40% of that. O-level, your yeah, metric, o, they take 10% of that. So that's 50% of your results, right? And then the other 50% is from your uh, entrance yes. exam. So they take that, they make an aggregate, they put that in a list, the merit list, okay? And then accordingly, you get selected for yeah. either DAO, yeah. merit seat, your self seat, your SMC. First 228 come in DAO, and then after SMC. And then, just like, first 228 comes in, there's a choice that either you want to go uh, to SMC or then DAO self-finance. Uh, like I think, uh, like we'll be explaining yeah. this properly. This time, I'll tell you about it later. Don't worry. Alag se. Ah, but a little si thing. One thing. Your overall 80 to 85 se upar rakhne ki koshish karein. Aapke liye zade asaan hi hoti hai. And then the final question is: Is SAT required by medical universities? It is not required by any university here in Pakistan, unless you are a foreign student. Yeah, foreign student by definition, like you, that meaning you did your education from abroad. You did, you've never studied yeah. here, so here you're gonna need an SAT score. Otherwise, you do not need it. Never. So yeah. Otherwise, huh, you could give SATs, like you know, there. I have friends who aim for abroad, so they gave SATs. 
Otherwise, यहाँ पे तो कोई जरूरत नहीं। यहाँ पे जरूरत नहीं है। सही है। I think that's it for today. And we like Sadia कि आपने frankly हमसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछा। And we would like to encourage others too कि हमसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछते रहें। हम आपकी सीनर्स हैं, हमारे करने के लिए तैयार हैं। So yeah, just one more thing. Just make sure to share this with your friends. Tell your friends about this channel. So that we'll get more questions. The more questions we'll get, it's better for you guys because you guys are gonna get the answers, right? So, thank you for watching. See you next time.